young bulls uh, up against a Balanites tree, a green thorn, or a torchwood. They go by many different names. You are not going to push that over. I think you are still a little bit too small. I reckon they're not even 20 years old yet. The one on the left is slightly older. He must be about maybe 18 years old. And the one on the right, hear them talking to each other? The one on the right is probably 15, maybe even a little bit less. Yes, you're coming over to be curious now. Hello. Naughty boys at this age. Uh -uh. I'm just going to tell him that I don't like the signs that he's showing us. No. Don't. Behave. Or you are going to get scared because I'm going to shout at you and you're not going to like that. And you see what he's trying to do? He's trying to intimidate me now. He's raising his head. Don't be silly. I just want to be your friend. You can be my friend. You haven't even looked at me since we arrived and now you're behaving like this. Are you trying to show off for your friend? It's not working. Craig and I are not scared. Batman, are you scared? No. No. Craig laughs in the fear of danger, or in the face of danger, sorry. <laughs> there you go. See? But he'll settle down. It's so typical. He's at that point in his life where he's trying his absolute best to see him as big and brave. In the meantime, he's really not big and brave at all. He's quite... He's actually quite scared. You don't have to behave ugly. But it's a nice close view, though. It's really quite cool, in fact. He's settling down now. He's probably going to shake his head at us at one point. It wouldn't surprise me. He's so close we can just fit him in <laughs> into the frame. Yes, there we go. Now he's starting to back off. That's a good boy. Look. <laughs> there we go. Now he's settled down. See, he obviously worked out. Oh, she's so boring. We're not getting a reaction out of her. Okay, I'm just going to eat now. Well, let's see if he's going to eat. Yeah. So you're not doing the silly displacement behavior that young elephant bulls are known, known to do. So a, a rogue hiccup. Now you're eating a very prickly plant. <laughs> Teresa, you say that this elephant bull is so handsome. He is indeed. He's actually a lovely looking fella. He's got nice ivory and beautiful, beautiful eyes too. When he opens them wide enough that we can see them. And now he's settled down. You can see that his bottom lip is wet. Uh, they were having a drink. We actually spotted them as we were coming across the dam wall. And I tried to get over here as quick as I could to catch them having a drink. Um, but it seems as though they didn't spend much time at all at the water. And because it's not very hot today, it's still quite cool. They don't need to splash all the water and cover themselves with mud. There's no need to do that. But I still can't figure out where that big breeding herd has gone. I, they must still be feeding in the drainage line somewhere just out of view. But I'm sure that they're still around, yeah? My boys, you are very precious. Thank you very much because we've been looking for elephants the entire day. So I'm, I'm so happy to see you. He's investigating down on the ground. I think he's also looking for the fruit. Every time they come around here... There we go. What did you find? Did you find a piece? They look for the Balanites fruit, but there shouldn't be any more left now oh, he's got the seeds that's what he's picking up he's just picking up the seeds of the balanites fruit that's been left behind he's looking in some old elephant dung maybe there's even the odd marula nut in there are you going to crunch that seed i'm just trying to listen to see if he is no this is so lovely now you can see how important though a trunk is to an elephant and that's why I always feel so sad when we see elephants that have been caught up in snares and have lost uh, some of the, uh, the, the tip of their trunk. Because they use it to investigate all around. Super. You're just going to touch it. Very gentle. He's coming right over now too. Hello boy. Now he's actually approaching us in a nice relaxed manner he hasn't shown any aggressive signs like the other and it's still he's still there don't worry he's just on the other side going to eat in exactly the same going to act all big and scary but i was just talking about that's possibly also what they could be doing you're going to come right past you just pretending i think <laughs> this is so wonderful you can see why you can spend all day with the elephants 
listen to me. Look how careful he's putting. Look at his feet. Craig, look how carefully he was putting his feet down. Oh, no, no, he's not. It was so funny. It was like, you know, when the kudu and the nyala walk, or even when a leopard is stalking something, how they make sure they don't stand on anything that can crunch underneath their feet. They're talking to each other again. He was doing that, but now he's he's carried on. This is beautiful. And they keep doing these sort of low rumblings to each other. I'd love to know what they're actually saying. Maybe they're deciding where they're going to go from here, if they're going to go and feed. Are they going to carry on on their own, or are they going to try and follow up on the breeding herd that has moved through here already? But for now, it's just time to carry on feeding, which they will do the whole day. They don't need much rest. A couple of hours a day, sometimes they go complete 24 hours without having a sleep. But lovely fellas. It's nice when they're settled down like this and they don't mind our presence. And you can see there's a beautiful waterbuck bull as well, just sitting in between the elephants. He keeps turning back this way, just keeping a close eye on them every now and then. Because knowing these young fellas, <clears throat> especially this young younger one. What a, actually, what a beautiful morning it's turned out to be. You know, it shouldn't be Nancy negative all the time when you're driving around. And it is quite disheartening not to find animals and you're searching and you, you know, you just miss leopards, things like that. It definitely does take its toll. But we've been lucky towards the end. We actually had nice variety. And I think my highlight so far was seeing that greenback heron. That was really, really, really fascinating. And I wish it had stuck around so we could have watched it for a bit longer. But now that we know that Lily living in this corner, it's a bit better. What I'm going to do is, Megan, I'm going to try and move back slightly so we can get the edge of the way. Move 